Hello, I'm Chloe, and I'm going to read Chloe the Clumsy Fairy. It's by um, Katie Wilkins, illustrated by Lester Lee. Summer meadow was buzzing, the sun shining bright. Some fairies awoke to a field of pure white. Chloe stood first and greeted the dawn. Glittering her wings, smoothed her hair with a yawn. Penelope, Mila, Chloe sang. Miss Tablet, Coca and Lola, she called. Mirabella, it's time to get up. Chloe stretched her arms high and called out, Good morning to be passing by. Then Chloe leaned over her white flower bud and squealed as she slipped and dropped it to bed. Oh, that's not a good start, Chloe said, hands on her hips. Then she stood with the groan, checking her petals for rips. Cal's still fully clumsy, she heard Lola say. Well, I better get going. I've got a big day. Dearest Chloe, called Mila, who not who noticed her scurry. Please tell me, why are you in such a big hurry? A dream, Chloe said in search of her one, of a lonely girl beyond dragon fly pond. She dreamed of Lily, who was feeling just rotten, for she moved across town, and her by her friends were, was forgotten. Not only would no one invite her to play, but Nick, the class bully, loved to ruin her day. He laughed when she wore her new yellow blouse. Can't, I can't see. It's too bright. Lily shrank like a mouse. It's all up to me. Chloe said with a sigh. Do you think I can do it? She asked the bird passing by. I, it, I drop things. I fall. Can't keep track of my wand, which just that moment slipped into the pond. But she fished out quickly and waved it up high. Oh, look, that's the school. Chloe shook her wand dry. Good morning, Lily, Chloe fluttered her wings as she floated between the slides and the swings. But Lily didn't see her. Her eyes were cast down and she, as she bumped into Chloe, who dropped to the ground. Oh, dear, exclaimed Lily, who kneeled in the grass and curious came closer. Who are you, she asked. Chloe just smiled and brushed off her skirt. A fairy, she giggled, when covered in dirt. I've... Come here to help you. She waved her wand high. Help me, are you sure? Lily asked, feeling shy. Chloe waited and wondered what her first move should be. Then she slipped off the desk and bumped her left knee. Some helper I am, she said from below. But the lunch bell rang. It was time to go. Since her first day of school, Lily had eaten alone. No one here likes me, she said with a moan. With a shake of her head, Chloe said, that's not true. Then, while dancing atop Lily's milk, dropped her shoe. Hi, Lily, said Nick, walking by with his tray. Nice headband, he smiled. Lily scowled, go away. Lily picked up her lunch as Nick's mouth opened wide. Come on, Chloe, she whispered. We're going outside. With her petal skirt fluttering and a wand sparkling bright, Chloe spotted a small group of girls to their right. Oh, look. Oh, look, Lily. Look. Let's invite them to play. I can't. I don't know them, was all she would say. Then soon, as they walk, they saw Nick come near. Oh, what does he want? Lily asked, fluttering, filled with fear. Chloe stopped mid Twirl, dropped her wand with a clatter. Why, Nick needs a friend. Yes, that, what's that, that's what the matter. I've got an idea, Chloe brawled out loud. Oh, this will be perfect, she clapped, feeling proud. Just then, the bell rang. It was now time for rent. Chloe found her supplies. Chloe planned out her part. A wave of her wand and a teensy bump was all it took for the paint to dump. Oh no, Lily gasped, turning bright as a beat. The paint had spilled all over her feet. Nick scattered. Nice work! And he started to clamp. 
when his paint tipped over right onto his lap. Nick jumped to his feet and his cheeks burning red as Chloe dropped clear dust on Lily's head. Lily looked up at Nick, clumsy day I guess. Then she smiled and said, should we clean up this mess? Nick smiled back and they cleaned up the floor. Now friends at last and no, lonely no more. With fairy dust spilling from a hole in her sack, Clay whispered goodbye someday. I'll be back. And always remember, she said looking down, you'll find a new friend if you just look around. It's only as lonely might you feel. There's always another who needs a friend to know. She flew out the door toward meadow beyond, then quickly flew back to her seal in her dropped wand. Come home in meadow, do Chloe twirled with the light. She told Lily's tale by the fireflies' light. I did it, she said, trips, sl sl slides, and all. And she laughed when her f with her friends as she started to fall. Bye.